May 13, Psalm 68 Rise up, O God, and scatter your enemies. Let those who hate God run for their lives. Blow them away like smoke. Melt them like wax in a fire. Let the wicked perish in the presence of God, but let the godly rejoice. Let them be glad in God's presence. Let them be filled with joy. Sing praises to God and to His name. Sing loud praises to Him who rides the clouds. His name is the Lord. Rejoice in His presence. Father to the fatherless, defender of widows, this is God whose dwelling is holy. God places the lonely in families. He sets the prisoners free and gives them joy, but he makes the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. O God, when you led your people out from Egypt, when you marched through the dry wasteland, the earth trembled. And the heavens poured down rain before you, the God of Sinai, before God, the God of Israel. You sent abundant rain, O God, to refresh the weary land. There your people finally settled, and with a bountiful harvest, O God, you provided for your needy people. The Lord gives the word, and a great army brings the good news. Enemy kings and their armies flee, while the women of Israel divide the plunder. Even those who lived among the sheepfolds found treasures, doves with wings of silver and feathers of gold. The Almighty scattered the enemy kings like a blowing snowstorm on Mount Zalman. The mountains of Bashan are majestic, with many peaks stretching high into the sky. Why do you look with envy, O rugged mountains, at Mount Zion, where God has chosen to live, where the Lord himself will live forever? Surrounded by unnumbered thousands of chariots, the Lord came from Mount Sinai into his sanctuary. When you ascended to the heights, you led a crowd of captives. You received gifts from the people, even from those who rebelled against you. Now the Lord God will live among us there. Praise the Lord. Praise God, our Savior, for each day he carries us in his arms. Our God is a God who saves. The sovereign Lord rescues us from death. But God will smash the heads of his enemies, crushing the skulls of those who love their guilty ways. The Lord says, I will bring my enemies down from Bashan. I will bring them up from the depths of the sea. You, my people, will wash your feet in their blood, and even your dogs will get their share. Your procession has come into view, O God, the procession of my God and King, as he goes into the sanctuary. Singers are in front, musicians behind. Between them are young women playing tambourines. Praise God, all you people of Israel. Praise the Lord, the source of Israel's life. Look, the little tribe of Benjamin leads the way. Then comes a great throng of rulers from Judah and all the rulers of Zebulun and Naphtali. Summon your might, O God. Display your power. O God, as you have in the past. The kings of the earth are bringing tribute to your temple in Jerusalem. Rebuke these enemy nations, these wild animals lurking in the reeds, this herd of bulls among the weaker calves. Make them bring bars of silver in humble tribute. Scatter the nations that delight in war. Let Egypt come with gifts of precious metals. Let Ethiopia bow in submission to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Sing praise to the Lord. Sing to the one who rides across the ancient heavens, his mighty voice thundering from the sky. Tell everyone about God's power. His majesty shines down on Israel. His strength is mighty in the heavens. God is awesome in his sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. Psalm 69. Save me, O God, for the floodwaters are up to my neck. Deeper and deeper I sink into the mire. I can't find a foothold. I am in deep water and the floods overwhelm me. I am exhausted from crying for help. My throat is parched. My eyes are swollen with weeping, waiting for my God to help me. Those who hate me without cause outnumber the hairs on my head. Many enemies try to destroy me with lies, demanding that I give back what I didn't steal. Oh, God, you know how foolish I am. My sins cannot be hidden from you. Don't let those who trust in you be ashamed because of me. O sovereign Lord of heaven's armies, don't let me cause them to be humiliated, O God of Israel. 
For I endure insults for your sake. Humiliation is written all over my face. Even my own brothers pretend they don't know me. They treat me like a stranger. Passion for your house has consumed me, and the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. When I weep and fast, they scoff at me. When I dress in burlap to show sorrow, they make fun of me. I am the favorite topic of town gossip, and all the drunks sing about me. But I keep praying to you, Lord, hoping this time you will show me favor. In your unfailing love, O God, answer my prayer with your sure salvation. Rescue me from the mud. Don't let me sink any deeper. Save me from those who hate me, and pull me from these deep waters. Don't let the floods overwhelm me, or the deep waters swallow me, or the pit of death devour me. Answer my prayers, O Lord, for your unfailing love is wonderful. Take care of me, for your mercy is so plentiful. Don't hide from your servant. Answer me quickly, for I am in deep trouble. Come and redeem me. Free me from my enemies." You know of my shame, scorn, and disgrace. You see all that my enemies are doing. Their insults have broken my heart, and I am in despair. If only one person would show some pity, if only one would turn and comfort me, but instead they give me poison for food. They offer me sour wine for my thirst. Let the bountiful table set before them become a snare, and their prosperity become a trap." Let their eyes go blind so they cannot see, and make their body shake continually. Pour out your fury on them. Consume them with your burning anger. Let their homes become desolate and their tents be deserted. To the one you have punished, they add insult to injury. They add to the pain of those you have hurt. Pile their sins up high and don't let them go free. Erase their names from the book of life. Don't let them be counted among the righteous. I am suffering and in pain. Rescue me, O God, by your saving power. Then I will praise God's name with singing, and I will honor him with thanksgiving. For this will please the Lord more than sacrificing cattle, more than presenting a bull with its horns and hooves. The humble will see their God at work and be glad. Let all who seek God's help be encouraged. For the Lord hears the cries of the needy. He does not despise his imprisoned people. Praise him, O heaven and earth, the seas and all that move in them. For God will save Jerusalem and rebuild the towns of Judah. His people will live there and settle in their own land. The descendants of those who obey him will inherit the land, and those who love him will live there in safety. Psalm 70 Please, God, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to kill me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame, for they say, Aha! We've got him now. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, God is great! But as for me, I am poor and needy. Please hurry to my aid, O God. You are my helper and my Savior. O Lord, do not delay. Psalm 86 Bend down, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me, for I need your help. Protect me, for I am devoted to you. Save me, for I serve you and trust you. You are my God. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am calling on you constantly. Give me happiness, O Lord, for I give myself to you. O Lord, you are so good, so ready to forgive, so full of unfailing love for all who ask for your help. Listen closely to my prayer, O Lord. Hear my urgent cry. I will call to you whenever I am in trouble, and you will answer me. No pagan god is like you, O Lord. None can do what you do. All the nations you made will come and bow before you, Lord. They will praise your holy name. For you are great and perform wonderful deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your ways, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Grant me purity of heart so that I may honor you. With all my heart I will praise you. O Lord my God, I will give glory to your name forever, for your love for me is very great. You have rescued me from the depths of death. 
O oh God, insolent people rise up against me. A violent gang is trying to kill me. You mean nothing to them. But you, O oh Lord, are a God of compassion and mercy, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love and faithfulness. Look down and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant. Save me, the son of your servant. Send me a sign of your favor. Then those who hate me will be put to shame. For you, O Lord, help and comfort me. Psalm 101 I will sing of your love and justice, Lord. I will praise you with songs. I will be careful to live a blameless life. When will you come to help me? I will lead a life of integrity in my own home. I will refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar. I hate all who deal crookedly. I will have nothing to do with them. I will reject perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. I will not tolerate people who slander their neighbors. I will not endure conceit and pride. I will search for faithful people to be my companions. Only those who are above reproach will be allowed to serve me. I will not allow deceivers to serve in my house. And liars will not stay in my presence. My daily task will be to ferret out the wicked and free the city of the Lord from their grip.